In this video, I will show you how to quickly wrap a widget with another widget, the way this red container gets wrapped with this amber container, as well as how to quickly unwrap a wrapped widget, the way this red container gets freed from being wrapped inside the amber container. I am doing this inside Visual Studio Code on Windows. Let's get started. For this demonstration, I'll use a basic app. This is a simple app with only a scaffold inside of which we have the body property and a container inside the body property. The first way of wrapping this container is by highlighting it and clicking on this yellow bulb. Now, in case you're not able to see this yellow bulb, let me show you how to activate it. So you'll go to this menu, then go to File, Preferences, settings now in this settings tab we have two options you can either work with the user tab or the workspace tab so if you make changes under the user tab those changes will affect all your vs code projects and if you make changes inside the workspace tab these changes will only affect your project that you're working on so since i only want to make changes to this project i will go with the workspace tab so inside this search bar i'm going to type bulb and we see that this first result says editor light bulb enabled. So this means that we are able to see the yellow light bulb in our workspace. And you can see that here it has been ticked. So if I uncheck this and go back to our main that file, now I am no longer able to see the yellow bulb. So even if I click outside this word, then double click to select container, I still cannot see the yellow bulb. So I'll go back to settings and check this checkbox. So what this does is inside your file explorer, inside the top level directory, which for me is the code actions demo app, it adds a new folder called .vscode. And if you expand this folder, you can see that there is a file called settings.json. So let me click on this. And you can see that here we have this code that says editor light bulb enabled, and that is set to true. If I change this to false, my light bulb will be hidden. So let me quickly do that and demonstrate. So false, let's go back to our main dot file. And again, we're not able to see our yellow bulb. So that's where you can toggle this setting for either seeing or hiding the yellow bulb. So while we're still here, I'll add a few lines of code here just to suppress the IntelliSense pop-ups that show up when you're coding because they're going to be a bit of a distraction in this demonstration. I've added this code just to make sure our pop-ups don't show. And so now I'll go back to our main dot file and close this explorer. Let me just make sure that we're able to see our yellow bulb. Yeah, let's check that. Then go to our settings with JSON to confirm and it says true. So now we're able to see our yellow bulb. So when I click on container to highlight it and I click on the yellow bulb, I can see that I have a number of options and these wrap options are what I am after. I want to wrap this container with another container and I can see that I don't have container as an option here. So these options that show up are mostly the widgets that you use most of the time. But if the widget you're after does not show up, like what is happening right now, you can go with wrap with widget. So here I'm going to type container and then give this a color, which is amber, a padding of 20 all round. And that's it. So let me save this and then reload this up. Now we can see that our red container has been wrapped inside the amber container. Now to unwrap this red container, and that, is, that means to remove this amber container and just remain with the red container, I will click on this word container to highlight it, and then click on our yellow bulb and go to remove this widget. And just like that, our amber container is removed. So let's reload this. And now you can see that our amber container is gone. So that's the first method, the yellow IntelliSense bulb method. The second method is using keyboard shortcuts. And for that, we'll go to this menu, then File, Preferences, Keyboard Shortcuts. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Let's go on. In this search bar, we're going to type in the term code action. 
That's because this list that we see whenever we click on this yellow bulb is called the code actions list. These are the actions that you can take on this piece of code. So under keyboard shortcuts, we're going to search for the term code action. The first result here we see is accept selected code action. So this will only work once the code actions menu is visible, as you can see here. But in order to display this code actions menu, we can use this control shift R shortcut. And as you can see here, it works when there's text in the editor that has been focused on. So for example, when we click to highlight the word container or whatever the widget it is we want to wrap or unwrap, we can now use the control shift R shortcut to display the code actions menu. Let's go back to our main doc file. Let's click to highlight this word container. And then now I'll use the control shift R shortcut. And that brings up our menu of code actions. So going back to this keyboard shortcuts tab, we can see that control plus period accepts the selected code action. So if I go back to the main doc file, Let's click on this word container to highlight it. Use the control shift R shortcut and then use my down arrow key on the keyboard to navigate this list as well as the up arrow key. Whichever option is highlighted, if I use control plus period, that option gets selected. So let me undo this because center is not the widget I was after. So edit undo. And now I'll use this shortcut to wrap this container inside an amber container. So since I have already selected the word container, I'll use Control shift r and then use my arrow keys on the keyboard to navigate, select widget, and then use Control plus period to select that. Now I can edit this and have container here, give it a color, which is amber and a padding all around of 20 pixels. So now I load this and our red container has been wrapped inside our amber container. Now I'll use the same shortcut to remove this amber container. So I select this word container, use Control shift r then this time I'll just use the mouse and go down to remove this widget, click on it, and the amber container gets removed. So let's reload this. And now we are back to our red container. So when we go back to this keyboard shortcuts tab, we can see that also the enter key can be used to accept the selected code action. So if I come back to this main dot file, our container word is already selected and I use control shift R as the shortcut, navigate using the arrow keys, down to center, for example, and hit enter on the keyboard, the container widget gets wrapped inside the center widget. I'll undo that because we're not using the center for now. So undo. Now there's one more keyboard shortcut that we can use. So let's go to keyboard shortcuts and search for quick fix. We can see that we have control plus period here to show us our quick fix actions. Now, in this situation, let's just go back to the main dot file. In this situation, our quick fix list is similar to our code actions list. So if we click control and period, we can see our list of wrap actions. Remember that control plus period can also be used to accept the selected action. So if I navigate down using the arrow keys to wrap with widget and I hit control plus period, then my container gets wrapped inside this widget. So let's just undo this and look at something else. So edit undo. Now sometimes you may want to wrap your widget inside a widget that takes the children property. As we have seen when we wrap here with a widget, we get a child property. So let me just do that. So container selected, I use our bulb here and wrap with widget. You see that we get this child property, but sometimes you may want to use a widget that takes a children property instead, for example, the wrap widget. So in that case, you just have to edit this and have your children word there, have your opening square bracket, and then your closing square bracket, and you are good to go. Another option is to use a widget that already comes with a children property. So let me go here and undo our changes. The other option would be to select 
container here. Yeah. I click this bulb and then wrap with column, which already takes a children property. And from there, we can just edit this and instead of column here, we can have wrap. So again, to remove this widget, we just select this and then we can use our control shift R shortcut navigate down with our arrow keys to the remove this widget option in our code actions menu hit enter and we have unwrapped our container widget and that's how you wrap and unwrap widgets inside vs code using either the intellisense bulb or the keyboard shortcuts if you've enjoyed this video and found value in it be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it useful as well and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you get notified each time i upload a new video